Sina. Hi, Dion. Hi, Franco. Um, Dionet, uh, sorry, just firstly, um, just in terms of injuries, um, are you looking on uh, that front? Um, at this stage, um, Damien Willems, uh, as you know, he came off the field with concussion. Well, obviously, he needs to go through um, the seven-day protocol, so he might be in doubt for this for this coming weekend. Other than that, um, um, we're we fine. Everyone is available and ready for training today. Nathan? Uh, Zina, Zina, I've got uh, two questions for coach and one for Franco, if that's okay. That's fine, Nathan. Cool. Um, coach, uh, Dion, a uh, morning, your side. Um, just carry on, on to uh, Stephen Nall's question. Um, just give us your official status of the spoon course if you'll be considered for the selection this week. Um, hi, Nathan. Aspoon yes, joined us yesterday. So he's um, part of the squad. Um, he's going to train from today on. And obviously, we will assess his situation where he is and, and then make a decision uh, according to that. All right. And then, uh, Coach Dia, there are a few players you've uh, coached at that at under 20 level with uh, Duan van der Merve and Pierre Skuman, just to name a few. What do you make of those players' abilities? Put it there to play for uh, other clubs outside of South Africa to be consider considered for international status? No, definitely, we've got respect for the players' um, ability. Obviously, they, as you said, they made the team look side. Um, they've been influential in school. Uh, and then, obviously, also in, uh, coming over here, um, uh, making uh, or they brought into into the Eden, into into the Scottish team. Um, and then also Duan making the British and Irish Lions side. So obviously that, that speaks a lot in terms of their ability. So we respect that and um, we, we're looking forward um, to compete against them this weekend. All right, uh, on to Franco. Franco, after Saturday's game um, uh, review, what would you say are the work-ons this week against an informed Scottish side? Uh, I think, me personally, I think... Um, we can sharpen up on, on everything. Um, it wasn't a perfect game for us, but um, I think we fight it out. And um, yeah, I think the thing is, go we have to stick with our game plan and um, not fall in the trap or something like that. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Zina. Um, just a question for Dion, please. Um, uh, Dion, I know it worked out quite well, obviously. Um, you guys showed your your depth in the backs as well, you know, with France coming on and stuff. But just as a coaching group, are you guys also a bit disappointed that you didn't have more of a glimpse into what Damien can offer, you know, at fullback, you know, given that he had a... Um, I know, I mean, it was out of his control, but um, <clears throat> surely it would have been nice to see what he was capable of in a, in a more extended run, you know, in a game. You know, definitely. I mean, part of the plan was, as we said, um, coming onto this tour is to build momentum and then also to look at key positions where we can uh, build depth and, 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 and give guys an, an opportunity to, to gain experience. And, and, and it was Damien's chance and, and we look forward to seeing him performing under, uh, under such um, competitive situations um, in terms of um, where he is and, 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 and what what he can bring for us going forward. So unfortunately, uh, it didn't work out for, for him. Um, he got injured, but uh, we know he's a talented guy and he will bounce back and maybe uh, things will work out for him better uh, going forward. Um, but then also um, having a guy like um, uh, Franz Stein coming on and putting up a performance as he did, just show again um, the importance of, of, of the experience uh, um, um, of, of Having experience in your squad and 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 grooming the youngsters around those those experience um, going forward. Stephen, thanks, Z. Um, Dion, just uh, on the scrums, you guys got a, a very very much a big you know, a big reward against Wales. Um, I suppose the same can be said for Scotland against Australia. 
Uh, do you expect it to, to be much uh, tougher uh, this weekend in, in that department? Well, first of all, Stephen, if you look at um, the performance of um, Scotland um, in the game against Australia, um, they, had a, they put up a very good scrum uh, performance. Obviously, also, we know that um, in uh, the scrumming coachability of Peter de Villiers, he's been with the Springboks, also worked with him at under 20 level. We know he's a, a, well, a, um, he's a very good coach. And, and you can see the result in terms of what they um, what they achieve in their scrums. So obviously it's going to be a tough battle. Um, but in saying that, also um, I must commend um, Dan and the work and, that the players have done up till this stage in in putting up proper performances in, in, in the scrum. So it's interesting and a tough battle, um, um, and and something that we really have to be have to be well for this week. Uh, see that Finn Russell gets a lot of publicity over here as a top player. Uh, how do you rate him and do you have a plan in place to stop him? Obviously at this stage uh, we respect uh, Russell and all the other players' ability in the team. We are not focusing on one specific player. Um, we, As I said, we have a big focus in terms of uh, where we can improve, what we want to do better this weekend. And obviously, also understanding um, uh, the challenges that Scotland would put forward. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a collective effort. It's going to ask for a collective effort and an improved effort of us um, to be um, successful this coming weekend. Thank you. Morgan? Thanks, Z. Uh, Dion, I've got one for you and Sos, please. Um, you know, it's back to France, Stain. On Thursday to mark the 50th anniversary of his test debut, making the only Springbok in history to be donning the green and gold for 15 years. As coaches, what does France bring to you guys? And so as for you as players, apart from his playing abilities, what extra does France give to you guys as players? Obviously, from my side, as you said, correctly said, France is a very experienced player. Um, with that, he brings a lot of experience to training. Um, he, takes, he takes that experience also into games, and he, and he shows it um, in big moments um, um, when that experience is needed or good decisions have to be made. Um, he, he, bring, uh, he brings that in terms of his execution, and he also brings a lot of uh, calmness around uh, the players in um, in assisting them um, uh, in the execution and, and their decision making. Um, but overall, uh, France is just a great guy on and off the field. Um, and he's always there to assist, always there to give guidance and always there to support the players. And um, a guy having a guy like him in the squad with, with quality leadership abilities and, and being so helpful um, is just, um, in, in my opinion, um, a good situation to be in and, and good to have a player like that in our squad. Thanks, Dion. Uh, Sabu? Uh, hi, Coach Dion. Hi, Franco. Uh, my question is to the both of you. Uh, a lot was said uh, um, recently, actually, about how the Lions uh, should have attacked the Springboks more. Uh, Franco, you obviously know physically what 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 it would have been like would you do you expect scotland uh finn russell was one of the players that that might have said that to expect scotland to be more attacking than the Lions series than in the Lions series um and and how will you counter that if if both of you could just add your thoughts on that that would be great yeah i think uh, coach dion said uh finn russell is a key player and we don't have a, we don't look at one player we're looking at the whole team and the performance of it uh, on the weekend they did play some running rapid and stuff like that and i think with our defense we all suited with that and hopefully it's going to take a team effort um to back it up yeah i think uh, if, if you think about gregor townsend and, the, and his philosophy in terms of how um the brand of rugby that he played uh, um, with Scotland in the past six nations and also last weekend. Um, um, obviously, <clears throat> it's it's part of 
it's part of their 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 style of play is, is, is to keep ball in hand, um, to use the width of the field. Uh, um, so I think um, going into this game and having been successful the past weekend, um, that might be uh, the same um, scenarios or situation that they will bring to us on, on this weekend. And having quality players like, like Finn Russell uh, um, and the rest of um, the guys around him to uh, to implement that, um, I think it's going to be, they're going to ask a lot of questions of us in the game. And, and from a defensive point of view, those are the things that, that we need to be ready with. Um, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, we, we prepare for that and uh, we, uh, we will make sure that, um, that we will be ready. David? Hi, Dion. I'd just like to ask, did you see anything from that game yesterday against Australia that, um, you know, opened your eyes or, you know, learn anything new that will be useful for, for yourselves next week in terms of Scotland's performance? Sorry. As in Scotland is a well-coached side. I'm going to say that in the, they, in all aspects, they've got a good set piece, they, they're good on attack, they're good on defence. Um, so, I think overall they're a, they're a very good, uh, well-coached side and, um, we we need to be um, we need to expect and be ready and expect anything, uh, and in order to counter them in all of those areas. Thank you, uh, Percy. I know you generally ask Afrikaans. Do you have any English questions for now before we switch to Afrikaans later? Thank you so much, Zina. Zina, I'll, I'll wait for the Afrikaans section now. Thank you so much. All good. Rob, is that a new hand? Rob? No, old hands, old hands, sorry. Okay. That's good. Um, Adnan? Yeah, thanks, uh, Zina. Uh, as a Dion and, and Sos. Uh, Dion, I just wanted to, you mentioned the defense um, the, from the lineouts in the, the first half. Uh, obviously, there was only one scrum, uh, which you guys dominated, the, you know, um, the, the, for the rest of the game. But from, from the lineout malls, you didn't get the, the return that you actually um, wanted. Um, is that uh, aspect of the game that you guys will want to improve on, obviously? Uh, you, you speak, you're speaking about our own line of work. Yes, uh -huh. that's right. That's right. And we looked at that and uh, I think there's, <clears throat> uh, there's certain areas um, in terms of our building blocks, um, in terms of mourning that we consistently want to work on. Obviously, we also must commend Wales in terms of um, the battles that they brought and um, and how they defend, defended the malls. Um, I think uh, it's not going to get easier this weekend against Scotland and, and even going forward. So it's a consistent pro process for us to, to become better um, and, to, and to handle that. Obviously, uh, towards the end, um, I think we, uh, we've improved in terms of um, the longer the game went on and the more opportunities we, we got and, and trying to figure out how we can make work for us and we also spoke at length this morning about this in terms of of, of uh, we we are set, we are uh, more areas that we can can work on so yeah it's going to be a consistent process for us we understand it's going to be a, a big grind uh, and we, we we're trying to prepare for that thanks Dylan Thanks, Zina. Um, just a question for Dion, please. Um, Dion, just your thoughts on the um, performance of the buff back row against Wales. Um, it seemed that all three um, starting back rows and even the replacement had a really, really good game. Um, obviously, Kwaka and Sia really, really took the opportunity to shine against Wales. Just your thoughts on their performances over the past couple of games. No, definitely. Um, I must commend um, uh, all, all three of them in terms of um, the way they stepped up in terms of their own performances. Obviously, we, we spoke about different things, but um, each one of those guys bring, uh, bring something special um, in, in different areas of, of, of our game, whether it's in, 
in cities, whether it's in on attack or, or defense, and uh, um, having um, that experience of Sia and 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 Duane um, in the back row, and and having um, an explosive athlete um, like like Kwaha together with Jasper or Marco, or whoever come, coming on late in the game is a luxury. And uh, yeah, we just we just glad that um, at this stage um, they playing such good rugby. Are there any other English questions before we switch over to Afrikaans? Um, I know uh, all day. Yes, you see that. Just one more from me. Okay, then that will be the final English questions. Boo. Co Coach Dion, that's Nancyna. Coach Dion, just on the uh, Scotland clash again. Very uh, tricky uh, trip in my in Murrayfield. Uh, a lot was said about uh, South Africa's record against Wales at, at Cardiff. What, what do you expect in Murrayfield in terms of the challenge um, there? Uh, and just to add it to that, your 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 skipper Sia Colisi has added quite a level to his game, playing you know full 80s, uh, looking in great shape. Uh, how influential has he been uh, just the whole season as in in his playing capacity this time? No, I think if you look back in the um, in the Lions series and you also look back in the in the championship series and in the past games here really um, played his heart out. He really stepped up um, and, and really put in some great performances. Obviously also in terms from a leadership uh, perspective, um, off field, the preparation and the, uh, the leadership that he provides um, leading up into the game and also then the, the challenges that he faced and, and how we handle it and, and how we communicate. Um, I think um, those areas are really areas that we commend him, can commend him uh, in terms of, of, of the leadership uh, that he provided and also the actions that he um, that he put together with that. 